just wanted to have a chat with you about what PCOS looks like for me and maybe even help you identify PCOS in yourself, family members, or other folks. Before I get started on this, I am not a doctor, I am not a medical professional, and I do not have any credentials to diagnose people. This is simply me sharing information that I have learned through lots of internet research, recommendations from my own doctor and a team of health professionals, as well as my own personal experience. So there is my little disclaimer for you guys. Do not take this video as medical advice. Always, always, always check in with your medical professional and do not self-diagnose. But if you suspect that you might have PCOS, again, check in with your doctor. If any of these symptoms run true for you or if you fit the bill and maybe you're having a difficult time trying to conceive, it would be worth it to check in with your doctor and kind of check it off the list as something either that is preventing you from having kiddos or that is not. So I am essentially the poster child for PCOS. <laughs> I have every outward and inward symptom that you could think of, uh, save for a few. There are a few things that don't apply to me, but most things do. I knew in the beginning that something was wrong. When I was young, I knew that something was just off with my body, but I didn't know how to piece together things to, you know, point to PCOS. I didn't know that all of these little problems actually added up to be one big problem problem. So I want you to think of this video as like a handy dandy PCOS guide or like a flow chart almost. So I would say if you have most of these things or even just a couple of these things and then also like if you're having difficulty trying to conceive this might be something to check in with your doctor about. So these are the common symptoms for PCOS. And I'm going to go through them in like a question format so that if you answer yes to them, then you'll know that maybe that it applies to you. So do you carry excess weight around your midsection? Some people carry weight, you know, like on their rear end or on their hips, but usually folks with PCOS kind of carry it around their middle in their belly. So they have excess weight around their midsection. Do you have a hard time losing weight even when you are really trying and really giving it a go? So are you eating healthy and exercising and still not losing weight? Then you might have PCOS. Do you have sparse to no periods or are they very, very irregular? Do you have excess hair growth on your chin, neck, stomach, back, etc.? Do you have thinning hair? Do you suffer from hormonal acne or acne in general? And usually the PCOS acne is the big like cystic type acne. So very deep pimples or very like cystic type acne. Do you have skin tags? Do you have spots of darkened or discolored skin? Have you ever had ovarian cysts or very, very painful ovulation symptoms? So it's definitely worth it to get checked out if you think that you might be a PCOS person. Um, I didn't know that all of those things that I was going through were attributed to my PCOS. The only thing that I don't have is the thinning hair. I was actually blessed by my mom to have very, very thick hair, so I've never had thinning hair. I did have a little bit of thinning hair with breastfeeding, but that, that's another video. But if you feel like any of these things apply to you, or if you feel like you might be a candidate for PCOS, um, definitely talk to your physician. And you're welcome to leave any questions down below about how I actually got diagnosed. I made a video about that. Um, it's called PCOS What Next? I will link that down below if you would like to check that out. So if you are one of my PCOS sisters, Hi guys, or if you were just one of my lovely subscribers in general, um, thank you so, so much for being here. I couldn't do what I do without you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below. I love to watch this community grow and meet new friends on the internet. And by the way, you guys, have fun today.